My name is Sally Bratton. I'm a candidate for a master's in educational leadership. My leading video came about from my principal asking me to lead a discussion for our incoming ninth grade parents on the complexities of college admission and its connection and relevance to students on our campus. It's only my principal's second year on our campus and in his first year he had a remarkable amount of parent phone calls from ninth grade parents. They tended to be concerned with every grade their child got, every reprimand received from a coach or a teacher. There was just a lot of uncertainty on what really mattered. So, because of these issues, and many of them related to class rank and the fear of that system, because we have a very, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies, <clears throat> we have a very involved parent community of middle and upper class, mainly, and these parents don't understand the class rank system so because of that, <clears throat> he wanted me to explain the importance of class rank, how various accolades um, and other involvement outside of school relates to college admission and the reflection of that from both a teacher standpoint and an administrator standpoint. And a counselor, uh, we had one of those on deck to help out as needed. So by giving this information session, we were able to help the community. Our goal was to help the community understand college admission and the role of the of our campus in helping their student achieve that. And so far we've seen a lot smoother transition for our ninth graders this present school year. When my principal asked me to lead the session, I was excited. I know a lot of these kids and their parents that are coming in because my daughter is also a ninth grader. And I <clears throat> felt confident in the information. I knew I could relate it to parents in a way that would be engaging and would help them understand. So I understood the content and my audience. Um, but as the night approached, I got a little, I started to get nervous. Um, because the weight of how many people would be in the audience. We didn't have an exact number. There wasn't a sign up, but I knew that we were expecting a class of approximately 650 incoming freshmen. And we again have very involved parents. So I knew that our attendance would be much higher than most high schools. So that was weighing on me. <clears throat> I also started to get a little nervous about the kind of questions that parents would ask. Um, it's a little concerned that I wouldn't have all the answers they needed. Thankfully, we were smart enough to include our ninth grade counselor <clears throat> on the stage. And so when more detailed information was needed, she could be called upon. Um, so. I'm sure it added to it that I knew so many people, my level of anxiety, but I think overall it went really well and I was well prepared, so we didn't have any issues, thankfully. Basically the evening included two sessions uh, that started with a large group uh, welcome from our principal. He welcomed everyone. He went over a few items that he thought all parents would like to know. Uh, we preceded that with a video that we put together of accolades from the previous school year. We were trying to have an overall emphasis of the fact that our school is, while it's known for athletics, we don't just achieve in athletics. So we were pushing college, pushing higher academics, and that kind of thing. 
So after my principal gave his welcome, I directed the parents into two groups. Basically, we took our auditorium, broke it in half. The people on the top half were asked to go to the choice sessions that were located within the school. The people in the bottom half of the auditorium were asked to stay where they were so that they could participate <clears throat> in the presentation that I was leading. So I coordinated that as well and got all the people to go to the right place. And they were very compliant, thankfully. When you watch the video of the leading aspect of my presentation, we had a student who was our video videographer for the night and he apparently did not understand that he was supposed to include me in the video I am in it but it doesn't I don't show up you can hear my voice through the whole thing but I don't show up until about the 11 minute 20 second mark and from there you'll see me dark hair off to the side doing all the talking so I hope you enjoyed my leading video Thank you.
components of the night that went well. Um, we were excited with our attendance. And as far as my leading that group, I was a little surprised and excited that my principal um, asked me to do it. It was a big responsibility, seeing as how all the parents would spend essentially half of their night with me. So I knew my job that evening was very important. And after the event, um, my principal did thank me. He said I did a great job. Um, and I related to my audience very well. We had a survey that we asked parents to complete probably about a week later because we were not only asking about the parent night, but we were also asking about students and how they were doing a week or so into school. Uh, those people who participated in the survey, we didn't get everybody, but I'd say we got probably 30 to 40 percent of them to respond. And the feedback overall for the whole night was great. Uh, for the session that I led, uh, we used a Likert scale rating of 54321, and 94% of respondents gave my session a 4 or a 5, and majority of them were 5s. So the lowest score uh, for my session, there were 3 people, or sorry, 5 people who gave it a 3. So there was no under the average rating for the session that I led. Uh, comments <clears throat> about my session included people saying it was important to know about the volunteer time and other extracurricular activities, and they appreciated having a better idea of the big picture. Uh, one person even called it enlightening. We marketed it as the GPA game, which is an idea that a former counselor of ours uh, brought to our campus. A couple of years back and it had been used off and on. Um, it was deemed very informative, most informative part of the night. Um, helped, helped me make sure that my student is well-rounded and doesn't just excel academically. One person even wrote, as a former high school teacher, I love the GPA game. What a novel and interactive way to show the importance of GPA, volunteering, extracurricular activities and building relationships because I did focus for them on the relationships um, with all the adults on campus so that they could have the best experience possible. Um, the college admission game was great. One parent said, wish I had seen it a few years ago. So we had a mixed group of parents who were completely new to the high school experience and parents who had been with us for quite some time. And we also had a few comments saying that overall, um, our entire approach to uh, communicating information was much more effective than it's been in the past. We did have a few distractors, detractors, I guess, not distractors, detractors. Uh, one of them in particular caught my attention, and they said that we should have advertised the evening as, quote, the only purpose of high school is to get into UT or Texas A&M. Uh, they were disappointed because that was our focus. And we based what we focused, uh, we based our focus on a pre-event survey that we had done with our incoming ninth grade parents when they were on campus with their eighth graders, checking us out, deciding what to sign up for. Um, during all of that back in the spring, and we asked, what do you want? And those were the comments that we got. But, and most of our issues come with from the parents who want their kid to get into one of those top tier schools. We did not honestly give a lot of thought to students who would not be aggressively trying to get into a college. So we realized our mistake there. <clears throat> and I realize now that I could have incorporated that into the presentation that I gave 
to show the benefits, not only for gaining acceptance into a great university, but also just getting that first job. And that could have easily happened, but it didn't. So that was one of the down, the pitfalls. But overall, it was a great night. Um, everybody who was in attendance, we got lots of compliments. I got some personal emails from um, friends, parents of my daughter's friends, thanking me for my participation, thanking me for <clears throat> the clarity of my presentation. And my principal wrote me a personal note thanking me for my leadership in the whole event. To describe the outcome of the night, um, components of the night that we thought went really well, myself in particular, were getting volunteers. We had parents come up and participate in this GPA game. And while I knew a few parents in the audience, or more than a few parents in the audience, when I needed one or two more, I was able to call out or eyeball uh, some friends and they helped out of course um, but if somebody in the future were trying to replicate that presentation they might need a backup plan on getting volunteers maybe some volunteer students who are helping that night to fill in if no parents really want to get up and get involved that would need to be respected <clears throat> Uh, the session began with getting the volunteers, at least for my part of the whole presentation. And um, once I had people up on stage for that, I established our goal of what we were trying to accomplish, telling them that we wanted them to walk away with a better understanding of the importance of college rank or class rank on college admission and to understand that it wasn't the only component and what else was truly involved. So the session began um, pretty well and considering that our reviews were so positive we felt that the group um, not only understood the purpose but felt successful at the conclusion like they had really learned something that they needed to know to help their child um, attain their own attain their personal uh, academic goals. I also think that having our counselor, Mrs. Franks, uh, right there next to me at the podium on the ready, uh, in case there were some tedious details uh, that needed to be explained, actually worked in my favor. Uh, I was afraid at first that it would look like I needed to be rescued, that I didn't have all the answers, but I think it really relayed the idea that we're a team and um, I think most intelligent people recognize that no one person has every answer and the fact that we had multiple people working together relayed the idea that we are a cohesive group as far as a instructional leadership team and we work together. So I think that was extremely effective. Overall, in an analysis of the evening, uh, my principal and I sat down and discussed everything, watched the video, and decided that um, next year, this session that I led, uh, might not be like a required component of the night because we had it set up that every parent filtered through that session. Um, next year, we're anticipating making it a highly recommended session and possibly looking at sessions led by the counselors or our Kate teachers that might uh, discuss our culinary program, which is excellent. Uh, we have a medical technology program where students can come out with a distinction or an ability to get a certain kind of job in the medical field. 
um, and just offering some of those other ideas of what if what if your kid doesn't want to go to college what are what are some things that we have to help them on our campus uh, be it ROTC um, like I said the culinary or some of our other um, some of our other options with computers and medical and agriculture, welding, different kinds of things like that. Um, our session was built in, like I said, for everyone, but considering the overall response and the fact that no one gave it under a three rating, uh, my principal thought it was extremely successful. Uh, in the planning stages, I should have, in retrospect, um, thought about those other students being a teacher on that campus for 10 years. Um, I know that all the students aren't going to college. And I'm a little frustrated with myself for not catching that ahead of time. Uh, we focused entirely on the data that we received from our curriculum fair night when students were planning for registration. And we should have thought beyond what the parents said because the kid who is not going to college, they possibly were not attending the curriculum fair. Uh, their parents possibly weren't willing to do a survey. Um, and it's on us, it's on me to take a better to take better care of every student. So I'm a little disappointed in myself for that. Um, but we want to, I realize now though that I could have made my session more relevant to those not just hunting for a competitive college admission. Um, everything that I've discussed in my session could have also, or almost everything, maybe not everything, almost everything could have helped students get their first job, could have helped them get an apprenticeship, um, could have helped them with so many things that would give them future opportunities. So I wish I had framed it all quite differently, to be honest. Uh, but in conclusion, I think that just myself being up there as a leader in that presentation uh, did kind of establish me with the community as an instructional leader on campus. And considering that I am the instructional coach on campus, my role is unique and um, somewhat new in our community, but it is important. And the fact that I can be seen as someone who's supporting all students and the whole entire school community, I think is very important and helpful in relating and accomplishing our school goals. As a final reflection point, um, if I had to do this presentation again, I believe that I would better try, like I was just explaining, to accommodate the needs of all types of students um, and address those issues that would relate to everyone and try to make it a more global focus, although those two things seem to be an oxymoron. Um, just to try to make it relate to more people and to ensure that there are alternate sessions available for people who don't feel that they need that information at all. And I think our principal has come up with a good plan for 
the next time we do this. And unfortunately, my original leading video uh, plan did not work out. My principal needed me to do this instead. I emailed Dr. Cummings, so hopefully that all got approved. But <clears throat> this definitely was a leadership um, experience for me and something I had not done before to address that many people in that kind of setting was quite new. So I was glad to have gotten the experience, uh, seeing as how I've addressed my faculty on numerous occasions with professional development uh, over and over again. Even before I took on the role as an instructional coach on my campus, I was leading professional development <clears throat> on my campus, at my district PD. I am a trainer for laying the foundation. So this, this was quite different for me and I was actually glad that our other plan didn't work out because this, this was a lot further outside of the box of what I'm used to doing. So overall I would say it was a great experience. I learned a lot. Um, and my principal was appreciative of what I did and how I did it. So I think it was a success. Thank you.